forgiveness is a quicker way to evolution. I don't know, if, have you thought about forgiveness or what that means to you? Because we keep talking about it. So I got up and I um, looked up that definition and the definition says it's the intentional letting go of anger or resentment and, and that we might have felt for someone who has hurt us. And I said, well, that someone who has hurt us is always us because we are the ones who are, we need forgiving because what will happen is that you move through your life and you discover, oh, wait a minute, I'm this really great person that I didn't know that before. And so maybe I should forgive myself now. And then you're going to understand why others didn't know how great you were. So you're going to have to forgive them. So that's where it really comes in handy. So it's about forgiving yourself first because you then discover how brilliant you are and your evolution is accelerated. Now, the reason I'm talking about that, because on this date, four years ago, that was the title of a Wilhelm message I received. And so I'm going to explain it now. I turned 74 yesterday. And so now I have permission to talk about everything. That's what happens when you get a little bit older, you get to own yourself because the only difficulty that we have is self-acceptance, not understanding who we are, the importance of our lives and our journey. And this is why we're here now. And I wanted to use a title on the video that would attract a lot of attention. So I'm going to call it How to Survive the Election in the United States, because that's the thing we're all kind of worried about or concerned about or anxious about, probably, or maybe we've been in a lot of fear. But I'm going to tell you that you don't have to do that. You can be in a really great place, and it could be the best time in your for you to be alive. And so I'm going to start with those messages because there was another message that came out today that said, forgive yourself again, because that's all we're doing is that when we're moved, no matter how long we're alive, we're going to uncover more things about who we are. So then our next job is to accept it. But that message this morning said, forgive yourself again and said there would be a video. This is the video that is going to explain so much more because I am... Um, taking a new journey in my life now tomorrow and you'll see a lot more of that on my website but it's time for us to really know who we are and to own ourselves and to completely love ourselves and that's self-acceptance because you were born to do something wonderful every single soul was and sometimes we get pushed a little bit before we recognize that today could be that day for you but I'm telling you you are alive to do something wonderful and if you do that this election will go by so easily and we'll change everything across the world we'll see but anyway you'll love this so much I am going to read these messages to you and then I'll explain um, as we go through them and also after um, forgiveness is a quicker way of again this is November 3rd 2020. Forgiveness is a quicker way to evolution. We awakened Roger to that thought this morning with a bit of a feeling of forewarning, but more of a tool that will ease your way. You and your world are moving through a massive restructuring, but you may, at times, forget why you are doing so. Here's the part of the message Roger wasn't sure he could interpret, but he, like you, is being moved to discover and utilize more of your innate abilities. You have moved through periods of this nature throughout civilization, and each time you do, you evolve more. How that occurs is that each person is born with different and unique ideas and views designed to aid them on their journey of evolution meaning you. As that happens, the collective energy of the whole creates the world in which you live. You are creating that world now, and it begins within each of you. As you embark on that internal journey, you will discover aspects of yourself you have denied, hidden, or abilities and skills you never believed you had. As you make those discoveries, you may begin to judge yourself or blame others for your state of being, and both of those actions hold back your progress. You are all one, and as you discover your ignorance of who you could be, forgive yourself first. 
and you will then grant the same to others and you have accelerated evolution. Then I have talked about um, when I received this information from Wilhelm, which turned into a philosophy, and they referred to 2012. There are times in our world where there are certain things that we move through that in civilization that we don't completely understand. But in 2012, many might remember, um, we thought the world might be ending on the solstice of December 21st. I went back later to look, and Wilhelm says, no, that's not what's happening. And this is the message. Wait is an action word that when you use it will instill the ideal of patience into your physical life experience. When you find patience, you begin to manifest very different results in your life. When you operate with impatience, you are actually working against yourself, so to speak, for you are affirming that something you desire is not here, has not been made manifest, and more importantly, that you do not have it. Those thoughts will create that reality in your personal experience. You will know when you are using the energy of the word wait, for you will also experience greater peace. Now, you will see that the word energy was used because energy is all that we ever use. And when we are patient, that means that we're affirming that we're okay and the world will be okay. And this is what they wanted us to understand then. Then I did something else, and there are things that we cannot explain about um, our lives and how things operate in our world, but there's always an alignment, and I discovered that there's an alignment for all of us. Every single person has something, and that is an alignment of the universe, which we don't always um, know. I went to Gaia to do Beyond Belief with George Nuri. I filmed that show in June. I had no clue as to when it would have been released, but it was released on September the 11th. Last year, Wilhelm told me that they had given me messages that would follow along in our world this year, and I thought that couldn't possibly be happening, but it did. So this is what it came out, and this is true for every single person, and what Wilhelm wanted us to remember during this time of transition, and it is this. September 11th, 2023. Your history has never been more valuable. That is your life history and your generational history. Both are in the process of evolving. When you reinterpret all of your histories in a manner where you unearth the wealth of wisdom and knowledge you hold, you not only accelerate your evolution, but your planetary ascension. The following message will aid you and your planet immensely, but you must be the first one to live it. September 11th, 2010. Your history was predetermined. In other words, before you came into physical form, you set forth all the conditions you knew would provide you with the greatest opportunity for expansion. Those conditions include your parents, family, friends, places you've lived, and everything you can think of that you now consider your history. Now, on the other hand, your future is never predetermined. You are also given free will of choice to use your history to create the most incredible life experience imaginable. There is such power and freedom in that concept that when you begin to accept it, you will also fulfill your intended desires and those are always expansion, more life, experience, awareness, and knowledge. You get to choose, Wilhelm. Then, following that, I went back to Gaia to participate in a channeling conference um, that was on October 19th of this year. But they said, now look at what we gave you last year. And again, some of these concepts were difficult for me to put together because we also believe in linear time. Um, the universe doesn't operate that way. Our universal consciousness doesn't operate that way. Wilhelm doesn't give me information that way. October 19th, 2023. Your anger, judgment, and hatred might be old. Every soul is bored with embedded beliefs and ideologies that may not serve them now as your planet is moving through a restructuring. We provided a message three years ago that will aid you now as you experience more conflict. October 19th, 2020. Your pain is not new. 
you will gain some comfort through this message. And if you are diligent about genuinely desiring to understand what we are about to give you, your life will be easier to traverse. We have said you are concurrently experiencing a restructuring of the world you knew, which begins with each of you. You decided to be alive to aid you in your evolution. It would be different for each and the same. We love our cryptic sentences, but that one is one you will come to understand. One of Roger's issues has been guilt, and we must say it has been typically artificial guilt, which he could not explain most times. Roger made an error in an email to his family and had horrific guilt episodes that bothered him all night. Last night, we told him to use one of our techniques, sit in it. What we meant by that is, at times, you do not know the origin of some of the difficulties you experience because they are quite old. We have said you have connections to your ancestors that continually surface for their release. Using our sit-in-it technique will make sense. We had Roger observe an explanation about climate change that can apply to Roger's condition about your world. You can easily understand the importance of not leaving a child in a hot car. The science has told you that when hot air cannot escape and is trapped inside a vehicle, it will be harmful and kill the child. You have been that child. You placed yourself in the car, allowed the heat to accumulate, and almost killed yourself. You collectively have done this over lifetimes, so apply this analogy to your planet. But using it for yourself will be more helpful. Allow yourself to breathe who you are. And that message was saying to all of us that when we don't allow ourselves to become our authentic selves or who we evolve to, then we have difficulties exactly as the ones we're experiencing in our lives or in the world because we are just holding ourselves back but we can also move through it then when i discovered in 2021 that i was given all this work in 2012 when we could understand it and there was one aspect there was one message that was really important that if more of us could understand and accept this one, not only would we have great lives, but we would help heal our planet. We would help the ascension of our planet. And it was this one on July 11th, 2012. They also revealed to me nothing is accidental. And if you add up those numbers, those of you into numerology, you'll see it's the number eight and we are in a number eight year. Okay. Your story is unique and valuable. It is unique because no other soul shares precisely your story. It holds the utmost value for you. Your story is comprised of everything your past holds, including all that has occurred for you, happened to you, everything you have done, every person you have met, and every word you have spoken. All of it has been and always will be perfect. Your only job, then, is to seek to know the perfection of your story. Any aspect of your particular story that you attempt to ignore, dismiss, or judge will cause you to experience some difficulty because you are refusing to receive the information and wisdom that your story holds. Now, that last paragraph is the one that I could not do and the ones that we most of us have difficulty with and it is the one that our civilization, our societies have difficulty with because we are attempting to ignore our futures, um, our, our past, not looking at them, not understanding what things we did that we would be better off changing now. So if we kind of put them away, then we don't have to look at them never works and that's not how evolution works we must be willing to move beyond anything that was negative that was held back that was a restriction and that's why we are in a period of evolution then um, they said we gave you things in order and there is an order in the universe and they even gave me a message on everyone's birthday in 2012 i thought that couldn't have possibly happened except it was organized and there is an organization in the universe that we are still figuring out and I'm going to spend more time um, coming to understand how this happened as well. 
Anyway, Jul okay, so January 1st, they said, you all have this, and this is what I was told. Infinite intelligence is available to all souls, and all one need do is become willing to access it. You are continually being made aware of this fact, but at certain times you are not willing to listen. You will experience many times where you think you are hearing certain information again, but the only difference is you are now hearing it as an expanded being. This is precisely the process of expansion that you sought. There is no monopoly on information or intelligence, and it is shared by all, for you are all one. Study is the process of repeating or reliving that very intelligence so it becomes part of the new you. Well, now that particular message is you think about it, it's scientific. It's just showing that that's how our brains work. That's how it works individually within us. We accept information that we've learned, and but then our society does the same thing because that's our collective um, consciousness or unconscious <laughs> that we all can kind of become aware of. Then, on, and they said, we are the ones who are creating the world. No one's doing it but us. And so they said, we want you to remember this on, your, on, the, on December 31st. That's when we typically make our New Year's resolution. So this one came through in 2012 that we could remember now. And that is, today is the day you have decided to consciously and deliberately release your past and embrace your future. This is something that you have also have the opportunity to do each and every moment of your physical life experience. But it is much easier for you to notice and appreciate the process of this today. You do indeed create your future and personal reality by what you decide to do physically, but you would also do well to remember that the first and most important step of the process begins in the thoughts you choose to hold. Those thoughts will allow that future to be made manifest for you. It will never be precisely as you imagine, for it will always be better or for your highest good in some manner. Well, um, then I kept hearing that we were moving through a restructuring in our world. Those were the things that started to come through in 2020. And I go, but why is it so challenging in the United States? And why is that coming through? So I went back to find a message that will help you understand this. And this is one of the earliest ones that I found about references to the United States and why we are going through this turmoil and why right now this particular election is meaning so much. And this is it. May 29th, 2020. You were afraid to love. Today, this message took a while to be received by Roger because he was fighting with us. Many of you may do the same. Roger was convinced there were exceptions to what we are about to say, but you will find it challenging to locate them. First of all, we are speaking to each person individually and your world collectively, primarily due to the current conditions and the events in the United States. We have given you several messages on this subject, but we will summarize here. Love is the most powerful force that exists. It is powerful because it does not restrict its energy. It does not limit its energy and continues to expand because love is the absence of all judgment. If you each come to understand and accept this concept, you and your world will evolve exponentially. The next thing to understand is you are all born benevolent beings. And when you stray from that understanding, you have conflicts because you have chosen not to be loving. You may get the sense this message will require study, but it will be worth it. If love is the most powerful energy and you are not feeling powerful, you have been afraid to love yourself. If you think others have more than you, you have been afraid to love yourself. When you judge your life or experiences as bad, you believe yourself to be bad. So there is no love experience. There is so much to give you, but we will leave you with this. Every experience you have in your life, whether or not you label them to be good, 
bad, right or wrong, all have the same purpose, which is to cause you to love yourself and in turn all others as you are all one. You and your world are coming to understand this, Wilhelm. Then we have gone through many changes in our world and over time in different kinds of civilizations, but this time it's been the United States. And we have recently seen that we had a change in the election that is currently happening and a new candidate came in and people were wondering how did that happen and why did it happen and I said well I kind of know that so let me read you the message this was August 31st of 2020 you were not meant to find yourself until now we use those quotes in the title of this message for that is the way most humans believe they are moving through their lives but the fact is you were never lost what you have done is continually deny what you think you hear about yourself, which could be interpreted as guidance, but you have trouble understanding this concept. While analogies are never satisfactory, we will attempt to use one. You would not expect your kindergarten self to perform mathematical feats before learning math in later grades. You do the same in your life. But because you think you should have known or seen these things before, you judge yourself and start to develop the consciousness that you have failed in some manner, which you have not. We will use a story now. We have continually given Roger information about the restructuring of your world and told him the United States and black women would help lead the way. This information seemed so strange to him that he only spoke of it to a few. Then Roger watched the film Black Panther last night and he began to make the connection. Roger could not understand why he had not seen this viral film before and we told him because it would not make sense, it would only make sense now. You each will have those experiences. We are pointing this out for Roger has always doubted information he receives from us, just as you have questioned all the information and guidance about yourself you think you might be hearing. That sentence was intentional. We have much more on this subject, but take this for now. You each are born with gifts that will develop at the right time in your life, but typically you don't allow that to happen or believe it is ha it, it is or believe it is happening until you find yourself in situations in your life where you feel pushed to do something for many of you that time is now Wilhelm and then I said okay I needed to understand why restructuring why is the entire world moving through this and I went and found this message which came in a little bit earlier it was July 12th of 2020 this one will help you understand what's happening today you are in the process of being restructuring a uh, restructured first of all please note this message has been decades in the making for Roger and you we are indeed using the collective you in this message and you may understand why we have taken to using this phraseology recently. It is because you, the individually, and the collective you are evolving, which occurs through the destruction of the old you. Yesterday, Roger attended a family video call with many of his relatives he had not seen in decades. During the conversation, the current affairs of your world came up and there were comments made in which Roger found himself unable to contain his feelings and for him his outburst was shocking. Roger is typically passive in his discussions on social, of social issues and usually attempts to avoid controversy. Now you will understand why we had him use the Hitler reference yesterday. We always know what's ahead and we prepare him for those encounters precisely as your guides have prepared you for something in your life and you always come to recognize that. The comment that brought up Roger's reluctant voice was one that Roger felt might have been harmful to others. 
that is the criteria that typically informs Roger's actions. But because he simultaneously does not wish to hurt another's feelings, he remained silent until yesterday. In the middle of his outburst, Roger knew that possibly others did not have the information he did, so he decided to offer to teach. When you discover your reason for being alive, you will also find your passion, and it may come out forcibly and startle you as it did Roger. We will not make this a book, but the restructuring you are experiencing is understanding is your understanding of your oneness and connectedness to all and using it to aid evolution. At times, you need extreme conditions like a pandemic or extreme leaders like a Hitler or a country like the United States who momentarily lost its way. The balance you will all find is complete and total acceptance of you and all others. What we are speaking of is pure love. And these events always cause that to occur. Well, no. And that was the message and the last one that was important because it's the one that you were meant to come to understand today. We never know who we're going to become when we come into this world, and I could not have told you that my life would have led me to bringing in a philosophy that could cause us to heal, and then I know that it works because that's what happened for me. But accepting what we have is always the, the other challenge. And so I know that what we're moving through, and I was told all of this, is a difficult time, especially in the United States, because we're trying to create a better world. And the way that we do that is letting go of all the old stuff, all the things that that did not serve our individual lives and that of our planet, meaning the things like misogyny and, and racism and, and, and judgment and anger and hatred and all of those things. Because what happens is when you hold on to them, you don't have a great life and you don't live the life that you're supposed to have and you don't prosper and you don't contribute to the world and we don't create the world we want to have. And now you'll understand why I'm making a shift tomorrow because we all hold ourselves back but that's the point of evolution is to decide to take the next step, which is why that last message said what it did. Today might be the day you do that. Thank you for being here. Please enjoy the messages and read all of them on my website and the articles and check out my work um, and, and the program that Wilhelm has put together that I have received through them. And uh, just know that you are existing in the world now to do something wonderful. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. See you soon.